Hey everyone, meet the Movin Groovin 16H, the newest paddle from the Groovin line that is the most powerful paddle they've come out with yet. Stay tuned if you want to hear about it. The Movin Groovin line, this is their Gen 2 thermoformed paddle line. It has the same characteristics of all the other thermoformed Gen 2 paddles. It's got the unibody, it's got the carbon fiber face, it's got the foam around the edges, unibody construction, super stiff paddle. Let's see how it compares to the other paddles in its line. My first impressions of this, the Groovin 16H, the raw 16H, the very first one, was a very square, blocky paddle. You can see the pictures right here. And it uh, it wasn't the most appealing, but it was one of the most headlight elongated paddles in pickleball. Let's just talk a little bit about the physics of this. Because of the longer handle, you would think that paddles would get head heavy and a lot of pop. Well, it depends on how much mass they put in the handle. So the Groovin 16H, the original, had a little bit of a wider handle. So it was a little bit wider, a little bit more oblong in the shape. It had more weight and mass down here, so it was a very headlight paddle. Well, what happens when you have a headlight paddle is it makes your sweet spot a little bit smaller. It's a lot more controllable. You can get a lot more whip with the ball, so you can, you can put a lot more spin on a headlight paddle because you can whip it really quickly, kind of like a badminton racket, right? You can whip through it because it's lighter at the head than it is in the handle and so it really allows it to whip so the longer handles typically have a little bit lower swing weight because of the weight distribution this paddle here has a swing weight of 122 which is higher than any of the other paddles in the Groovin line and it has the pop to prove it and this has a longer handle so this is a 5.75 inch handle so very 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 comfortable with the two-handed backhand you can get the two-handed backhand going here no problem with such a long grip and even with the 5.75 you can still go up up in here so it's got well over a, a six inch grip that you can grab onto so really comfortable for the tubing the spin on this is only about 1821 so it's not a high spinning paddle it's right in the middle tier of the spin but it makes up for lack of some of the spin with the power and the pop that it brings to the table so this model doesn't have as wide a grip it's only a 4.25 inch grip circumference here but they didn't widen it as much as the previous model so this has a little bit less of an oblong feel uh, just octagon gun feeling handle which then moves some of the weight up here that's why it's more powerful and the hit points and the balance points moves out here towards the end that's what gives you the pop. But I think with its swing weight and its length and reach, it, this is a perfect paddle for those that are looking to have a little bit more power for punch volleys and drives from the back line. Anything that involves power, this would be a great paddle for you to look at. But let's get into the performance of it. So typically the way I gauge a paddle with its power will be you know hitting that back line like that i found really early on that this pedal had a lot of pop to it i'm able to put a lot of zip on my serves low driving penetrating drives that are all the way to the back line within the last three feet so really was able to quite easily get the ball back there and really put pressure on them and serve and serve return to not have shallow returns or shallow serves like that one that was shallow by Chris and it, you know you really want to be serving way back there into the back three feet of the court and I found that this was very easy to do with this paddle. Okay, as you can see there, and the serves and the returns, I was able to really put the ball on the back line. I really felt the power right immediately. The other cool thing about it is, is it wasn't so powerful that I was just spraying the ball everywhere. So it's not as powerful as like the Gearbox or the Legacies of the World or the Excel Kirks, the Power Air. None of those, it's not as powerful as those paddles, but with a swing weight of 122 in the length, you can really put a lot of power on it without a lot of big swings. You'll really be able to to find the back line and put the ball where you need it to go without spraying it deep or spraying it wide. I found that I didn't lose that much control with the elongated paddle, even though the sweet spot's a little bit smaller on this. So I noticed right away, just like all the other Thermoform Gen 2 paddles, the sweet spot's a little bit smaller than the Gen 1 paddles. So always with the Thermoform, the, the sweet spot gets a little smaller when you get more pop out of the paddle and the stiffer paddle. So this is a very stiff paddle. And I was able to really notice like when I hit way out here on the end or the edge it was kind of a brittle feeling so it was very stiff and it would vibrate a little bit in your hand but you would lose some of the power as you got out towards the edges here like most of the thermoform gen 2 paddles but what i liked is the power i could put on the serves so as you saw in the clip there my serves were very powerful very low and deep so i was able to apply some pressure just from the serve let's talk about the drop so next let's see if this paddle can control it let's see if we can control it get us up to the kitchen line and get where we want to battle all right, let's see how I do on third shot. Drops, 
the you know paddles typically a little bit more powerful paddles you got to work on your grip strength and really lighten your grip i found that once i was able to lighten the grip i was able to hit good touch shots with this able to get myself up to the kitchen like that and, and get some of the work done without working too hard like i, I find that um doing these shots was really easy because I didn't have to push so hard with the paddle. It was really I had to work on lightening my grip more than hitting it hard. But you can see from some of these shots, I was able to dial it in pretty quickly, really hit some touch shots, get myself up to the kitchen pretty easily. This is definitely a, a stiffer paddle. You can tell that it's thermoformed and you know you got to be careful with your how light you hold the grip because with a stiff paddle, if it hits way out on the edges, it just kind of dies on the paddle. Once I adjusted my grip, I was able to get up to the kitchen, be able to get anything I wanted out of this paddle. Even though it was a stiffer paddle, I was still able to control it, get it to the kitchen, do what I needed to do with it. But let's look at where this paddle, I think, excels, where this paddle really shines, why you should consider getting this paddle. I think this is where this paddle shines. Uh, it definitely has the pop. And as you can watch in these clips here, I was able to really um, put pressure and really hit the ball hard. And so it was really good, I felt, at being able to you know, get the strength going, get the speed going. Could definitely tell that this is where the thermoform paddle really uh, you know, shines as far as that goes, is because you can really just speed the ball up and put a lot of pressure on your opponents and not sacrifice so much control. Like obviously a little bit smaller sweet spot than the non-thermoformed versions of any of these paddles, but being able to just put the ball away like that and just end the points, you can see from these swings, this paddle has pop. This is where I was really impressed with this paddle. The punch volleys and the drives with this paddle, I could really put some heat on it. So I really felt the swing weight and the ability to put the pressure on my opponents with it without sacrificing so much control. As you can see from those shots, definitely has the put away power. I was able to end points pretty quickly and on my speed ups, I was able to put pressure on my opponents to get those pop ups to get the put aways. Let's see if because of the power, we sacrifice some of the control in the dink battles. Let's see how I did with the dinks. This is where the money's at in the dink game. It took me a little bit to get used to this because it is a little bit more uh, powerful paddle. So uh, once I got my grip strength adjusted, I was really able to start carving up the dink battles. Really felt comfortable when I was in the dink battles. I didn't feel like I was going to um, lose in the dink battles once I kind of dialed it in. At first, I was kind of hitting it kind of high. Wasn't, wasn't really... Um, yeah, but you can see here um, that I'm able to dial it in. This is like my second or third game with it. You can see that I'm really uh, putting a lot of pressure on Jamie. This is kind of his uh, forte here in the dink battles. So keeping up with him is always a good thing. And being able to then put the ball away. Like this is where I think that I love it. You know, you get the setup and you can then have enough pop to put the ball away. Now for the dinks, it took me a little bit to get used to lightening my grip there because of the extra pop. I, once again, I'm used to a control paddle, so I play very soft paddles. So anytime I play a stiffer paddle that has a little bit more heat to it, it takes me a little bit of dinking to get used to it. But as you can see from the clips here, I was really able to dial it in and able to get the control I needed out of there. And then the satisfaction of being able to put the ball away when I earned a pop-up or earned a higher ball, this paddle really helped in that area. So I really enjoyed it in the kitchen. After a couple dink rallies, I was able to really get what in. So I, I don't think you would lose any of the control that you're wanting. It's a thermoform paddle, so it's going to be just like all the others. So you're not going to lose as much control as like a super poppy paddle. So I was able to really do what I needed to do there in the kitchen. But anyway, I, I enjoyed playing this paddle. I think uh, anyone that is looking for the power and the pop and doesn't care so much about high, high spin rates, like it's a mid-tier spinning paddle. But but this paddle really did well in most of the tests that I had to run through it. And I just want to say thank you to those of you that are using our code. You know, you help us keep the lights on, keep bringing you this great content. And thank you, Groovin, to send us this paddle so we could review it to help everyone make a good choice. This paddle retails for $179 with our pirate discount code. You can get 10% off of that. Appreciate you using our code. And if you don't like the Groovin line or you want to try a different line, you can check out these reviews here.